Hey y'all, it's Deb. I'm wishing you all the best today. We are having beautiful weather here in um, Northwest Arkansas. Um, supposed to get up to 88 degrees. Oh, it should already be there. I see it's after two o'clock in the afternoon. So at one o'clock it said it would be 88 degrees. So I guess we probably reached that uh, temp, although my little thermometer here on my countertop says 82, but it is in the shade. Um, so where it is displayed outside, it gives it, you know, outdoor and indoor uh, thermometer. Um, but so it's probably 88 in the sun, um, have no doubt. Um, what's going on? Um, I have uh, had sinus issues, really, really crazy allergy problems. Um, I missed a wonderful shower, baby shower for my niece. I really wanted to go to, but she had a lovely shower. I saw the pictures and they're just gorgeous. I'm so sad that I missed it, but uh, I will be delivering her gifts um, probably this weekend or uh, I've got to get with her and set up a time. So I'm very excited about that um, to give her her presents and uh, really wish I could have been there. But I did not want to take a risk of her getting sick in case this was more than allergies, which it looks like. It's just, that's it. Uh, sneezing of the dri drippy runny nose. But my head was feeling congested and pretty yucky. And, you know, she's only got like two months to go. And I did not want to cause any problems, any illnesses to happen. So that's where that went. Um, what else is going on? Well... I guess we're going to plant tomato plants in the backyard. Um, I've got a couple of pots ready to go for those, so I'll be transplanting my tomato plants. They are more than wanting to get out of their little pots that they've been in here in the house. I'm going to set up my um, hummingbird feeders, so later I'll have some pictures or video on that. Um, and probably just do a little more to the front porch area. I am planning to paint my front door. The uh, The door is getting a little nicky looking and, and kind of uck. So um, I was thinking about painting it a different color than the red that it is currently. But then I kind of look at it and I go, you know, it needs that pop of red. So uh, probably just go ahead and put it back to red at least this time. And maybe next time I might change it. Um, other things that are going on... Um, We'll maybe freshening up the patio soon. Probably not today. But, uh, yeah. Did some vacuuming last night. Um, I just really realized that I uh, had got behind on my chores due to not feeling well. So, I uh, popped in and did a, a lot of vacuuming last night. I need to, uh, I need to get out my um, Bissell and um, clean the floors. Uh, mop them using the... Uh, my Bissell machine. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, no swimming pool yet. Um, again, it's still the middle of, just past the middle of uh, April, so we will be waiting probably mid-May, maybe even end of May, before the pool goes up. And uh, so, but I am looking at bathing suits now. Yes, yes. Um, so, I know I need, I want it. I want a, a nice one piece as well as another two piece. So I have some changes to, to use and to wear and, uh, and uh, maybe another cover up for this year, something new. Um, I have a pink striped one that I think is adorable that I own and says life's a beach on it or beach life. Yeah, maybe it's beach life. And then I have the, um, the, uh, light green one, minty green one, um, which I love. Um, so, um, that's where we're at. Yeah. So happy to be back on here, hoping things are going to be going better for me. Um, and I just hope that you all are having a blessed day out there. Hope that your lives are all you want them to be. Um, Remember to focus on uh, achieving what you want to achieve. Um, write it down. Say what you want and write it down. Um, and write it every day. Um, and this will help your mind to focus on what you want. Okay? Add God to bless 
the things that you want and ask his help in and guidance in achieving these things because nothing is done without God. Without the word of God, you are pretty alone. Um, nobody needs to be that alone. Um, I mean, you, yes, you have family and friends. Yes, I, uh, yes, don't, don't, don't jump me here. Don't jump me here. <laughs> um, yeah, family and friends are wonderful, but all things are done through God. And, um, and if you do not receive what you initially want, um, or there was a stop, um, open your mind to, is there a different direction for you? Because perhaps God is saying to you, this is not the way to get where you want to be. Or maybe it's that what you want is a good plan, but let me show you a better one. And I'm going to take you there and put your hands in his, uh, in him and let him take you to that place that will exalt you because he loves you. God loves you. He has blessed us with the son of God who died on the cross, who rose on the third day, who gave us his word to follow. And if we live by that life, by the word of Jesus, we will all be lifted to our appointed places in heaven eventually. And God will, and excuse me, and life will be good until that day. There will be times when you will see sadness and sorrow. And those are things that we have to use our faith in God to work through and to move forward um, and not to stop and not to look back on. Remember, God said, and many, many have uh, spoken on this, that the one woman that God mentions, that Jesus mentions, is Lot's wife. And he says, Lot's wife looked back, not in, uh, not in remembrance, but in want of the old life that was being destroyed. Instead of looking to the future, and what God was bringing to her. And at that point, when she looked back with that in her heart, she was turned to a pillar of salt. So I would just say to you, look to the future. You can remember the past, you can remember, but don't want for that time. Don't need for that time because God is bringing you into your Future, into your life, into what is for you. That was part of your life. It's part that he's moved you through. And now you're going into your future and where he wants you to be now and forevermore. All right. I love you. May God bless you and keep you. May he put his arms around you and may you go through your day with his loving arms. Amen.